let me offer you some interesting insights on procrastination. Studies have shown that 20% of adults procrastinate chronically, while 50% of college students procrastinate in a chronic manner. But why is this and how do we solve this problem? All of us go through this procrastination phase where we have all of these things in mind that we need to do, yet we do not get to actually taking action towards those goals. What do you mean by that? In this video, we're going to be exploring three key reasons behind why you procrastinate and how we can solve each of these three problems today. So make sure that you are subscribed to Goals and Growth for more motivational, inspirational and helpful content like this. And also make sure that your post notifications bell is turned on because I upload quite a lot of content each week for the benefit of you. So make sure you start the journey with us by subscribing to the channel and let's get the ball rolling. Simply put, the first reason why you and most people procrastinate is because they have too much on their plate. It's one thing to have all of these aspirations and all of these things, all of these goals that you need to achieve, but sometimes it's better to stay in your lane and focus on one or two things at a time. Many people can't handle that much work at once. And they get overwhelmed, they feel tired, and that is why they end up procrastinating and giving up. It's always, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, or I'll do it next month. But then they never take that action. It's quite sad if you think about it because you might have this fantastic idea and you might be this clever human being that can achieve a lot of life, but by loading too much onto your fork at once, you overwhelm your senses and you fail to take action. Rather than having this large amount of goals, make sure that you decrease your goals, define them properly, and put a timeline to each one of them. Break your goals up into smaller goals that you know you can achieve even on a daily basis. Achieving these smaller daily goals will help you to build up to weekly goals, monthly goals, and also yearly goals, five-year goals, etc. So don't make the mistake of not thinking big or not dreaming big. That's a good thing, but you need to approach it in the correct manner. If you are having issues with procrastination, if you are having issues with managing your time, with managing your goals, with segmenting your goals, I've got the perfect ebook for you down below in the description. Make sure you go and check it out and let's move on. The second key reason why most people procrastinate and fail to take action is due to the fact that there is a lot of distraction in the 21st century. We have social media. Oh, you gotta give him that hook to and spit on that thing. You get me? We have all of these live streaming services. We have platforms like YouTube, which distract you from your goals. And I'm not saying all the content that you consume is bad, but 99% of the time, the goal of content is to keep you hooked, is to keep you watching. Because how do we as YouTubers succeed? We succeed by allowing people to watch our videos, by getting people to watch our videos. Now, in that sense, you are getting pulled in. It's the negative type of content that often benefits, that attracts the most attention. Human beings are wired in a very strange manner. We tend to enjoy content that is, so to speak, useless, the content that is, so to speak, negative, because that's just the human nature. It's interesting, it's different. But we fail to consume the right type of content, like the content on goals and growth, that can actually further us in our lives. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't consume online content at all. What I'm saying is be selective about the content that you do consume. On a daily basis, you scroll through Instagram or scroll through TikTok and you consume content that is not really helping you level up. It's not really changing your life in any meaningful way. So ask yourself this one question, why on earth are you consuming it? To avoid this problem with negative content, the thing that we need to do is we need to distinguish between what is helpful and what is not helpful. What is entertaining is not necessarily always helpful. And I know we all need to blow off some steam most of the time, but think going forward, what is gonna benefit me more? A video about building my own online business or a funny cat video? Yeah, the funny cat video is pretty cool, pretty dope, but on the other hand, the other video will help you much more to progress in life. So make sure that you are selective with the content that you consume. The third and final reason why most people procrastinate is they lack proper planning. Planning in the sense of writing down your daily goals, writing down 
what you want to achieve in three months, six months, nine months. We talked about goal segmentation a lot on the channel and I keep hammering on it because a lot of us still forget to do it. If you make a simple list the night before, that is always going to be helpful rather than waking up and then just starting from scratch, not knowing what to do. You see, most of us have enough energy, have enough wisdom, have enough knowledge to do wonderful things, but we fail to channel that wisdom and that knowledge into a constructive venture. We fail to channel it so that it is most effective and most efficient. So make sure that you first decide what you're going to do with this energy that you have, what you're going to do with this knowledge that you have. If you're planning on starting a YouTube channel, you need to dedicate your energy and your time into creating quality content, quality thumbnails, quality descriptions. This is just an example. It is like that with any avenue in life. If you have this one thing in mind and you cannot plan adequately around it, you cannot plan your life according to it, then that is a recipe for disaster. So make sure that even if you, before you go to bed, you make a list of the things you need to do the following day, do it. That is always gonna help. It may seem like something so simple, but at the end of the day, that is what helped me immensely to organize my life and still does to this day. I really hope you found value in this video. And because you watched up until here, you are receiving a free ebook down below and make sure that you go and join the GG and ITN Reacts Discord community down below, after which you'll also receive another free ebook. So make sure you go and join that Discord. It is linked down below. My name is Estian and I'll see you next time.